guys, it's Liana and I'm about to get into cosplay, but first I want to show you guys something. As I mentioned in one of my recent videos, I do a lot of shopping on Timu just because I don't have a lot of disposable income and I try to buy cheap. And something Timu has been advertising quite heavily lately for me is wigs, and I decided to finally try one out. I've been wanting to cosplay Rapunzel since I was like 13, and they have this pre-styled Rapunzel wig. And I'm gonna try it out with you guys today. <laughs> and my Ochako wig is not good quality. I got it on Amazon. So I do have some experience with making cheap wigs look kind of okay. It's very cheap. Look at that hairline. Oh my God. But it's pre-styled, so that's cool. It's very frizzy, but I could look up some tricks on how to fix that. This is not a problem I've had before. My other wigs do not look like this. The hair is very different textures. I'll show you again against one of my more expensive wigs. It's a mess right now, but this is a very different hair texture that I'm used to working with. Let's go ahead and put it on. Oh, oh, I'm having a hard time getting it on. It's so small. Oh, God. <laughs> oh dear. Rapunzel doesn't have bangs. Her hair is long. She's never cut it before. Why did they give it bangs? I could make it work with a lot of effort. <laughs> I think she had like more of just an off-center part, if I remember correctly. I have a painting of her right here. Yeah, it's slightly off-center. And it's always hard for me to get wigs because my widow's peak. I have to pull them down past my hairline because my hairline dips in the center. Oh! <laughs> Uh, actually, the fact it's so poofy on top is kind of working in my favor because the wig doesn't fully cover my head, so I could pull the hair out of the ponytail a bit. I think if I got the tiara, I could make this work. If I like did a full face of makeup, I got her little tiara and her dress. The dress is the only thing I won't be able to get anytime soon because it's expensive to buy plus size Disney dresses. It's like $200. The tiara, however, Timu sells that too, and I already got one, it's just not here yet. But I think with the tiara, I might be able to salvage this and maybe doing something with these bangs. I could work with it. I could do something. It's just gonna take a lot of effort. Moral of the story, only buy Timu wigs if you know how to work with wigs. I'm self-taught, I'm not good at it, but if you look at my original Ochako wig, I'll throw up a photo, versus how it's looking three years later. It's a lot poofier. And you know, my first time cosplaying her, it's gonna be a more modern cosplay, like Punziella's fan art. Her fan art was my world when I was 14. So I'm gonna do like a more modernized Rapunzel simply because I can only afford a short wig and I can't afford the dress at all. I have a really pretty purple pink top that I think would work for a more modernized version. I'm taking this off, it's bothering me. <laughs> and even though I've already bought her tiara, the first time I cosplay her, I'm not gonna be using it. For my first cosplay of her, it's gonna look like she's Disney bounding. I'm gonna get Rapunzel themed little mouse ears and Pascal earrings. She's gonna look like a normal teenage girl going to Disneyland rather than a princess. Just because that's all I could currently pull off, but she is my dream cosplay. And I wanted to play around with a more modernized Disney bounding version of her before I get into the full cosplay of her. Just because if you don't start somewhere, how are you ever gonna make progress? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's time for me to go and turn myself into a pretty anime girl.